ABC's Leah Pizzetti. Pizzetti. Now it's hard to believe that it's that time of year because coming in today I had the windows down. It was a little <laughs> warm today. It felt like yeah, today was actually cooler than yesterday. Was it so really? there's good news. Yeah, but temperatures are going to be above average this week. Nine days to Christmas certainly doesn't feel like it though. Today we did have a wind advisory so you can see Kern County until 7 p.m. tonight. So we technically are still in this wind advisory. However, it does end very shortly. You can see peak winds today. Uh, Bakersfield saw gusts up to 25 miles per hour to Hatchby 30 miles per hour. Mojave 50 mile per hour gusts today and tomorrow. This advisory technically is over. However, winds will continue. You can see tonight around 10 p.m. Those gusty conditions continue in our desert communities and then late morning tomorrow morning. Take a look at this high winds. Fraser Park, Lebec to Hatchby 30 mile per hour winds. Lake Isabella getting up there as well. These will clear out by tomorrow evening though, so that'll be good for us. Good for our air quality. Our air quality for tomorrow was an AQI of 57. That is moderate, much better than what we've been seeing the past couple of days. So definitely get out and enjoy that fresh air. However, with this fresh air comes higher risk of fire. You can see our fire weather watch for tomorrow. Those red zones, high risk of fire because of those winds. So do be aware of that um, and make sure you're not uh, catching any flames. So th this is also because of high pressure over California. You can see we're staying nice and clear. Conditions are staying warmer than usual tomorrow. Bakersfield 60 degrees hanging out right in those upper 50s, breaking through those 60s in our valley. Our mountain communities in those 50s as well. Fraser Park 50 degrees to Hatchet be 52 degrees. Lake Isabella 60 degrees for tomorrow and then those 50s breaking through those 60s as well for our desert communities. Once again with those breezes sticking around. So if we take a look ahead, we can see we do gradually warm up through the next couple of days. Cold front comes Wednesday, Thursday cool down just in time for the start of winter. Winter technically starts on Thursday and then we do pick back up for this upcoming week. And if you saw that it there's no rain in the forecast. So we are talking about dry conditions continuing. Take a look at this. So far we've had no rain for the month of December and this has only happened twice in 1989 and 1930. So we are on track. Three of the four weeks are looking like a dry couple of weeks. Kern River Valley 60s cooling on down to those upper 50s by Thursday as we were talking about with that cold front moving in to have to be 52 degrees for tomorrow and then those 50s um, cooling actually down into the 40s for Thursday and then Fraser Park similar situations hanging out in those 50s and then dropping down in those 40s on Thursday. So a couple more days of warmer temperatures and then we do have that cold front moving in briefly, but then we do warm we back, warm back up. up. Very weird. And like you said, it's weird to see no rain in the forecast. Seems mm -hmm. like last year we definitely had rain. We had snow this time. Not so much. Nope, it's a dry December. All right, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Thanks, Leah. We'll still